Kill him. No, no, no. Can I restart that? Hey, Internet, it's Jessica, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Mafia, the definitive edition, or I guess you can call it the remake of the original game that came out in, I believe, 2002. I have never played the Mafia series. I never- I don't know why I never got into it, even all those years ago. I guess because I was just so young, like, there were other games that I wanted to play, but Mafia has been on my radar for a while. It's something that I wanted to bring to the channel, but I was so happy when they announced that they were making a remake of it so that I could bring it on the channel. So I'm very excited to play this for you guys. And you guys, if you know me, I love story-driven games, so I'm very, very excited to play this. Also coming off of playing the Yakuza series, um, I feel like this is kind of fitting because it's another like gangster mobster kind of story. All I know about this game is it takes place in the 30s in Chicago and there's a bunch of gangsters around. That's all I really know. I don't really know anything else. I try not to look into it too much because I want to go into this completely blind and experience it for myself. You know what I'm saying? Before we begin, however, if you guys would like to support the channel, please check out my Patreon. That is patreon.com slash a girl in a game. Get early access to episodes like Mafia, monthly hangouts that we do, cosplay stuff that I do, and bonus tidbits for the channel. So if that's something you are interested in, please check out the link in the description or go to patreon.com slash a girl in a game. All right, I'm kind of nervous because I bought this on the PC and my controller I don't know if it's working, and I'm I'm more used to playing with a controller, so I, I, I hope it's gonna work, but we'll find out very soon. Maybe I should just go with medium, you know? Uh, hopefully I'll survive. What's classic? Enemies are lethal. Police response in more crimes. Oh, hell no. I'm going, I'm going with medium. <laughs> I don't wanna. Alright, I'm very excited. I don't know what to expect. I don't know, um, you know, if this is gonna be one of my favorite games very soon, but... Um, I hope I'll enjoy it, and I hope you guys will enjoy this Let's Play as well. I like the music so far, though. It sounds really good. impression of like this era obviously is with like movies and like television shows and all, all I know is about like you know um, the ban on alcohol and the Great Depression and stuff like that so that's kind of like the era that I know but like I don't know that that much about it and I'm willing to learn and I kind of like this It looks really good though. I really like it. <laughs> I like the way that the cars look too. I don't know, I just I'm just so into that. Like it just looks really nice. So this game is like 18 years old, right? If you really think about it, it's eight that was 18 years ago. That's so old! <laughs> That's like really, really old. I think I was like... Seven years old? Seven years old when this game came out? Originally? So... That's a really long time. That dude dropped a box. Is he gonna get fired? This fly camp, oh my god. Lost Haven. I like it though. Like, um, it's it's amazing that we can, you know, especially like recently with all the remakes happening. I really like how far technology has come when it comes to video games. Like, it's it's fascinating to me that um, we're able to make games look like this. And I know there are more technologically advanced looking games, you know, out there. But I'm just saying, like from 18 years ago, and now it looks like this, you know? I wanna know what I look like. Who am I? Is 
is this me or I don't know. Or maybe Johnny. this is me. Thomas Angelo, Detective Norman. Hi. You alone. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. He has an Irish accent, right? So, you said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you call the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Bro, how do people drink that? Because I'm on the nut. You put alcohol in your Can't coffee. How do you do coffee? that? <laughs> but I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. Morella dies in Fireball. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up? Yeah. I might have something. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. Oh. No one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. I didn't expect our character to be married, unless he's oh, lying, I don't know. man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. <laughs> Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. I'm very curious to see what the hell did he get himself into. Oof. Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. Flashback. An offer you can't refuse. 1930. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. Usually the night shift it pays more. It was the more. end of one of those shifts. When I first met Polly and Sam. Whoa. We're starting out action already, oh my gosh. Uh-oh. Move it! Come on! I figured they would just steal it themselves, but I guess it's just a disguise, right? Have have uh, Tommy drive? Oh! <gasps> my controller's not working! Are you freaking kidding me right now? <gasps> I'm gonna have to use my keyboard and mouse. I'm actually really pissed off. Okay, so I bought this off the PC, and like when I was trying to start up this recording, 
the controller wasn't working and i was looking on steam and apparently i'm not the only person who's having this problem the controller's just not connecting, no matter if it's a PlayStation controller or an Xbox One. It won't connect, so... I guess I'm gonna be using my keyboard and mouse today, uh, so forgive me if, uh, my driving and shooting is terrible. Hopefully, uh, this will get fixed, but... Get this great I'm going, I'm going, I'm going! Got a gun pointed at you. Okay, okay, okay. Dead, oh god! You, you guys see me, like, yeah, do GTA roleplay, you guys we know I'm not good at driving. Drive. <laughs> How the hell they know we'd be there? Doesn't matter now. Okay, okay, we just okay. gotta lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? Oh One god, it, that cop is shooting at me, right? How do I look back? Can I look back? Hold tight. I'm gonna try something. That worked. Who are those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Should we Take slow down? Bridge. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to this destination. Your leg will pay up there. Oh my gosh. Hurts like hell. My driving is so bad! I don't know, it might be okay. Just getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, Cabby. You don't get to listen either. Bro, you're talking in my ear. How can I not listen? Hello? Alright then. I guess we're just going. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. I, I'm driving you, sir. I am a taxi driver. If you do not tell me where you are going, oh my god. Why is my health bar showing up? <gasps> ah, shit. What do I do? Oh, we can ram it. Okay. Um. What do I do? Do I just turn? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have to go into a bunch of shortcuts, right? Okay, okay. Oh my god, we might die. We might die. We might die. Please don't die. Nobody make me, if we were on a heist, nobody make me their escape driver. This is what would happen if I was the one driving. We would just be, we would end up being dead, honestly. <laughs> dead or arrested. Okay, here's another one. All right, all right, all right, all right. One more car, one more car. All right, I'm trying. Poor bastards digging the road for the works program aren't gonna thank us. Three crates down. How many motors were at the exchange? What are they talking about? Can I go this way? Sure feels like it. Next time we take more muscle, we should have expected trouble. And the boss hears about this, they'll be out of pay. Oh my god. I'm like sliding all over the place. No! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please move. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, my health bar. No! Go, 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 go. I they must have sent word out. I killed a man. I killed a man. I killed a man. We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Are you kidding me? I thought I lost them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to go to Little Italy. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going. I'm going. I gotta change the sensitivity of the mouse too. It's kind of choppy. Uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? Yeah. We can make it. Yeah, I guess we can. There's a bunch of bullet holes in my car, but you know. Just sit tight and pray. That was awful. <laughs> that was so awful. Before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now, your night's not over. Bro, are you paying paying me for this? See this you got a death wish or Sorry, damn, you shot up my taxi. Like, what do you want from me? I didn't me? see this coming. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Oh, now they decide not to talk. Okay, then. All right, guys, hopefully during the later episodes of this Let's Play, I'll be able to use my controller. Okay, but for close. now, we're going to have to deal with this. Pull over in front of that bar. The Aries place. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. They're all a bunch of gangsters, aren't they? Wait here. What for? 
You want a little something from the Don or not? Money? Are you gonna pay me in my cab? You damaged it! <laughs> How much did it say the, 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 the taxi fare was? 15 cents? How much is that worth, like, equivalent to, uh, the currency right now? I'm just curious if anyone knows. <laughs> Why is it going on slow-mo? Is this bad? I thought he's gonna pull out a gun. I'm like, sir. For your services. Any damage to your car? Oh, thank you. You're actually paying for that. This makes us square. Thank you. How do I explain to I'm my sure boss that there's a bunch of bullet holes in the car, though? Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. I I guess it would be very tempting to join this matter stays between the us. mob. <laughs> Anyone asked where you got that money? You wanted a poker. Okay. The scratches on your car. You swerved. To keep from hitting a little old lady. Sir, how do you explain the bullet holes, though? What do I say that? Uh, just freaking, uh, popcorn hit my car? Like, what do you want me to say? <laughs> but no, I, I really do think it's, like, it's, it's very easy to get caught up in, like, gangs and mobs and stuff like that because, especially the, during this time, I imagine a lot of people are, are poor. When I open the envelope, And they're really desperate for money. I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Mm -hmm. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. I mean, you're not wrong. So, right there, back then, I was out. Where's his, like, wife and kid unless he just, like, meets them afterwards? Chapter complete. Running Man, 1930. After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. I imagine, because they'd probably be talking to you. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. Oh, are you gonna... Okay. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. menswear has just the thing to accent your style. Careful, please. Ma'am, I, I just started driving. And you'd be the first. Oh, to turn on the speed limiter? Oh, we can have a speed limiter. So I don't go crazy. That's actually good. How do I turn off the radio? I just don't know if, like, the music in this so, game is copyrighted church. or not, so I'm just gonna shut it off. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. Ma'am, you don't want to make spell conversation? I mean, for me personally, I don't like talking to, like, you know, if I'm, like, taking, a, like, an Uber or something like that, I'd rather not. <laughs> just let me, just let me, damn, dude, just let me, um, enjoy the ride, basically. Would it be weird if I just, like, drove around? Would this lady get really mad? I have to respect the law, though. It says drive carefully and respect the law. I don't see any traffic lights. Now that I look at it, there's not really much traffic lights, right? Back in back in those days, there wasn't really many. Here you go. St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. How much is that worth? The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Dang, that's rude, but I sure. get what she's saying. Whatever you say. <laughs> I get what she's saying, though, but people smoked heavily back then, especially, like, in taxi cabs. Excuse me, ma'am! What'd you say? I will get out here and- Don't drive without the radio. Better find a new fare. 
Do I have to leave the radio on? Because I don't want to get copyright. Again, I'm sorry, Tommy. I want to listen to it as well, but... So I'm really just acting like a taxi driver right now, huh? Over here. Oh, there's a guy. Hey, do you need a ride? Hello? Where am I taking you, sir? Art gallery. Give me there quick. Oh, yes, sure. sir. Quick, I can do. We're a limit limiter. I'm turning it off. I have a time limit. I'm going to floor some time it. Out. What's it to you? Not much. Just... Just talking. try to be polite, I'm damn. I'm paying you to drive. So do that. <laughs> My god, everyone's so rude in this city. What the heck? <laughs> Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. You're giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I guess you're. Are you trying to so say like days. criminal? I saw this crap shoot depression coming. Saw them before the crash. Cola. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings. Oh my god, I almost crashed into a police officer. Colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Real Until job, then, sir? I am driving your ass to yeah, the yeah, art gallery. You. Don't insult. I think it's so rude. Real job, but I guess like I'm assuming that these um tax these taxi drivers <laughs> only get paid. Oh no, there is street lights right there. Okay, never mind. Pull up from the gallery. Forget my earlier comment, but I'm assuming Tommy only gets paid with uh like fares, not exactly having like a wage or anything like that. I'm on the Thanks, wrong side of the road, but whatever. Fifty cents. I don't spend it all at once. Thanks. I'll try not to. Dick. All right. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. Yeah. On to the next. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess we're on to the next son of a bitch. I think the last kind of game that I played in this kind of time period, I know it's not exactly the same, but um, L.A. Noir was the last one that I played in this uh, time period. Oh boy, you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Wait, who's this? Those figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Uh, okay. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, uh -huh. you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. He's uh, drunk. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got oh, the shit, money I went the for wrong cab way. rides since the market tanked and it all went to God, shit? I <gasps> <laughs> the only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, I guess that's what yeah, they'd be more I've concerned seen go about. After guys for less. Yes, yeah, so if they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. This city's corrupt as all hell. I mean, you're not sure wrong. Is. Especially right now, like I said, people are desperate for money. The alcohol's banned, so people are kind of, kind of, um, looking out for themselves. I guess it's like the right way of saying it. They don't really care what happens to other people. I'm not saying it's gotten any better. I mean, the world is so corrupt, as depressing as it is, but, um,. I feel like we're a little bit better, maybe? I don't know. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Okay! Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. Thanks, dude. I feel like Tommy's like really on edge. He does need a break. But then again, co does coffee really help? I guess it kind of does for people. I have tea! Does that count? Whoa! Jesus! Oh. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? What the fuck? Bro, I'm drinking coffee! Yeah. Oh my god! Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help in Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Wait, was Just it so because- you know, Are they like a rival camp. gang? Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Tommy. <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Shut up, yeah. dude. Look at your freaking hairline. Oh, God. Run. Run! Move, 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 move. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get out of here, Tommy. Run! <laughs> what the heck, dude? These people are crazy. My freaking taxi, too. Run, 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 run. Oh my god. <laughs> Go, 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 go! Oh my god, is that guy still following me? Where do I go? <gasps> and, ah! <laughs> oh, I was supposed to vault over here, my bad. I didn't see that, I panicked. Sorry! Go! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Where am I going? Is this the right way? Yeah. Oh my god, there's a kid crying. Same kid, same. Dude, you need to get out of here. Look at this. Oh, we ended up back here. <laughs> How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we just... Trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this is the Don's favorite driver. So anything you gotta say to him... Now we're protected. Oh my god. Yeah, right. Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Oh, Lou. <laughs> hey, thanks. At least we could do. Thank Come you. On. Let's go say hi to the Don. Um. Don Silieri. Yeah. Oh, this is how he gets this. roped into it. Cause like the thing is, I know that they said, oh, we we like to give out favors to people who we're friends with, but when you give favors, they expect favors in return too, right? So who the hell knows what that could mean? Molotov party. What does that mean? Is this him? What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes. Sir. Yes. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. <laughs> well, I appreciate Does that, that come sir, with taxes? I'm for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> Who is that, Alfred? Yeah, Frank. <laughs> the kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You're gonna ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. It's like, it's very interesting how Tommy is like quickly like, Oh, don't worry. Tommy, I won't let you down. Acting like he, he works for him. We'll talk about what's next for you. You know what I'm saying? Because he did say I didn't want to join them. I just wanted the money and then that was it. But like, it's no interesting how... So tread carefully. He kind of changed okay? immediately. Sure. Okay. Tread carefully, you say? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. Oh, are we just looking around the bar? Cool. Can I just like kind of take a look? Guy. Yo, Tommy, why are you walking yeah, like me. that? <laughs> We're helping him out. Let's see what's over here. Oh, 
Don Solaria, I'm writing to you to let you know of my joy to hear that you will be attending the wedding of my daughter. Please, if there's any further arrangements you would wish for, let me know. It'll be a wonderful day. And for the world to see, the occasion has your blessing and will make it even more special and memorable. Your loyal friend, Giovanni Romano. Okay, someone's having a wedding. He's gonna drive the boss? Find anything good? Nah. You know, nah, I... Job, Daddy. Um... I'm watching you. I got it. Sitting around. I get it. <laughs> That's interesting! Usually when you play games and you look at things, nobody says anything, right? I think there's only a few games that do this. One that I can think of is like Life is Strange when you look through like Chloe's room and she's just like, Max, why are you being nosy? I like details like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snoop around. I was just curious. Prohibition here to stay. Oh, is this an actual picture? Is this real? Okay, prohibition here to say, production and sale of alcohol to remain illegal. In a speech to gather the press, President Hubert Hoover, oh, I think it is real, re retired today, uh, that, I, again, I'm Canadian, so I don't know, like, you know, US history that well, so please forgive me. <laughs> Hoover reiterated today that the noble experiment and the prohibition will remain in place, forced to respond to democratic criticism. Hoover also promised a more efficient and better funded prohibition bureau to prevent Profiteering and smuggling. Yeah, well, that didn't really work out well for him, did it? The bars are closed for you, I'm afraid. Um. Come back later with Polly or Sam. That's that's okay. I I was just looking around. My bad. Okay, we're going. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Minnie first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. Okay. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do like any uh, heavy club. lifting. We make That's sure we're well healed for this. when there's trouble. And we're grateful for his dough, but we gotta go. Long drive back north. If the Don wants to do this again, we can meet out of town. Someplace there's no heat. I wonder what they're talking about. Why does Tommy look like he's about to square up? What's wrong with you, dude? <laughs> we're not fighting yet. I'm going over Tenzo. Hi. Oh, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Benny. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right. Good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just a thing. A bat? This classic should do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> If the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Oh, that's where the Molotovs come in. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> okay, that's kind of intimidating, but thank you, sir. I'm just going to shove all of that into my pocket. I'll straighten them out. Okay. <laughs> okay. You seem like a. Can I just snoop around your things? Come back and see me later if the boys don't scare you away. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll fix you with a gat. Oh, <laughs> damn. All right. See you later. I'm sure. But Martin leaves the room. <laughs> Coffee's in the garage. Oh, my God. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. Okay. I don't get how this moron gets engines to her. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. What's in the back? Oh, we can't see anything. Why are we shushing? What's happening? <laughs> so mean. Get your head out of your ass. <laughs> the fuck, dear Papa Polly? You can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy. Oh, he has a stutter. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> We ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sh 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 sure, Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy. Angel. That's so mean. Good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car. He'll make it yours. Tommy, Just because he stutters. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. Oh, sir, don't. I guess I am the taxi driver, and but don't uh. Let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't blame him. Giving us this motor. 
I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. No, 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 it's, hey, this is okay. Fine. Yeah, yeah. It's good to get a change from the cab. Not a big deal, not a big deal. It. Spins a tin can. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. Uh, I, th I, th I thought it was weapons, but yeah, I guess it makes sense. Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. Hmm. We're okay, so long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Yeah, but how Some careful do you have to be? whiskey that comes through? You want a bottle? Just ask. We keep some back for friends. That's cool. Uh, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. I mean, yeah, not it's just nice. the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Wow! Uh, <laughs> besides, all this could get a guy in Please trouble. Please go! Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Is it just that pride thing? Is that fine, why Tommy's so I like, don't, don't worry, I won't let you down, Don. Either I'm gonna go beat up those guys. So I feel like it's a pride thing, remember. right? We're getting on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Okay. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in the wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. Hmm. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. I mean, like, from my experience, the last game that I played that has kind of something related to this is like, uh, Yakuza. You get on the wrong turf, people will just start fighting you for no reason. Or they just think you're trying to cause trouble with their clan, so... Um, I imagine it's the same thing here. Don't know okay, how far they'll go, though. Line. Let me just park. Give me a second. Oh. Morello okay. Smoke and jaw up front. And leave their motors. <laughs> yeah, out. sure. We'll park here. There's some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Excuse me. What are you gonna do if I get shot then? Leave me here, I assume. Okay. Oh. Go quiet. Okay, yes, sir. You know how to go quiet, out right? Out jobs. Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. You'll get there someday. Okay, there's two guys over there. Right, all right. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Yeah, yeah. I get, I get what you mean. Get what you mean. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. Yes, sir. They'll keep their truck busy while you creep up and jump them from behind. I'm real good at distracting. He's my best thing. Get up onto the roof? I think I have to go through here, right? Ah, uh, he's good for it. What I'm doing. Um. Go here. Take cover? Okay. Hey! What the hell you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. Oh, here we go. What the hell are you doing back there? How do I get down? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to give Morello a black guy. And Dino makes you guard the guy. Hey. Hey. Oh! Did I not? Oh, shit! Nice, Tom. Okay, hang on, hang on. Again, I apologize. Not used to playing with keyboard and mouse. Take that! Uh, come on! I didn't mean to punch him like that! Come on, Tom! Okay, we gotta get my bat. 
Get up, and then I'm gonna start swinging like this. Got it. All right, let's go. Think you can mess up my taxi, you dicks? No one's driving that again. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, get away from the car. Whoa, shit! Get away from me, bro! <laughs> God! All right. Tom, quick. There's gonna be more of them. Can I just use the Molotov? Use a Molotov and let's see some. Yeah. Love your work. Hell yeah. Okay, there we go. Try not setting yourself on fire. <laughs> I set myself on fire. What an idiot. her dead. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. All right, let's go. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car. I'm gonna know where you keep. Reports of burning vehicles and don't Oh, we gotta go. Can I heal myself? Can I heal myself? How do I heal myself? Here we go. Don't bring in the wrong people. Here we go. Old ways are the best ways. All right, let's go. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bulls show. Here we go. Drive. Come back, you bastards. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, here we go. Now we gotta lose the cops. So what? What do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed, but let's not get them real pissed. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try, try my best to get over there in one piece, but this is overwhelming. Oh my god! Can I use the cover of the streetcar? What? Shit! Uh, stay out of sight. Wasn't uh, I figured that would work. No! I figured that would work. No! Uh oh. All right. Desperate times. We're just gonna have to floor it. Don't link them to Sorelli's. I'm not gonna do that. But move! Oh my God! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Die, Tom. Die! No! Fuck you! You're coming with me! Oh my god, can this car go any faster? Okay. We lost them. For now. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. Okay, okay, I have to watch it. I gotta use the mini map. He's gone. Go back to patrol. Okay, there we go. We're we'll good. Time. Let's head back and see the boss. Okay, so it's like Grand Theft Auto. You just gotta yeah, wait a little bit, the and then eventually the cops will get Some off. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How did it feel? Feel good? I I, I almost set myself on fire, but guy. yeah. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. It's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? Of crime? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beep motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days. There's he didn't days. answer the question if he actually wants this life or not. Than I ever got. I was he curious to hear his answer. Dino's pals and take his motor. Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. Oh, God, look at the front of this. <laughs> and one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Mm. Your brother or your uncle or... Oh, some guys, sure. Their cousin got made. Sorry, guys, I just want to hear what they have to say. I, I'm way interested. Back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. But there's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Getting people off the well, street is like the easiest plans, way so because they're looking. Like I said, sure when people join plans. a gang, the plans are to they want to feel so like they're a part of something. That That's usually what it is. The door again. They want to be I'm a part of something. Whatever. They want to have meaning for their life. It's not just Here about money and stuff like that, you know? So that's how I felt when I was playing Yakuza. And I, I'm sure it's the same way for a lot of these people who join the mob, too. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Um. Dumped it. Yeah, it's kind of gone. Ooh, wow. Sorry. Sorry, Ralphie. It was a boiler. This one's better. 
A b -b better car with a b -b broken window? Fresh ain't never killed nobody. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Ralphie. Okay. <laughs> He's still with you then. Somehow. Yeah. Hey, boss. Hello. It's done. We're back. No trouble. Yeah, nothing we couldn't I just set myself on fire, but good, we're okay. Good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I got a grown business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. How quickly he changed. He just accepted Good. it. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. Oh. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Okay. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. <laughs> All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. What? You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Mm. Now, you stay straight with me, you're going to be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. I'm dead. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. So this is how he gets into... Welcome to the family. Yeah, the family, pretty much. Thank you, sir. I, I wonder what went wrong. <laughs> Luigi, let's see. Welcome. Look how happy Tommy is. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Ordinary routine. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Cillieri's crew wasn't going to get me clipped. Come on, <laughs> I what did I know? Finish it all. You, Tommy? Come on, there's still a gas yeah. in your tank. Get it Boss back. Boss is waiting for you. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Signora, quell'idiota. Arrenditi. Ah, potrai combattere ancora. I, yeah, a lot of Italians immigrated to America during this time, right? Yo, I'm part of the family now. Can I go upstairs? <laughs> I'm just curious, you know, what's up here? Dang, I was hoping I could see things, but I guess not. It's all right. Probably later on in the story. Deliveries have gone out, so we're running kind of low oh, for the Oh, is that bar. Sarah? There's an exchange at the night. No need to worry. I gotta go to the market for the legal stuff, too. Huh. I'll get you some money from the dump. Hi, I am just awkwardly standing here. Why? Why is he standing like this? Someone explain to me. This man is standing like this. <laughs> Why is he doing that? That's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive? 
Polly and Sam can handle the rest. Uh, okay, I, as long as I don't have to do anything Just else. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Oh, damn. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. So we can't they attack need to anyone. We'll protect them. Okay. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays. You know up. what? I find his methods very, very it. interesting. He's a lot more calmer than I expected. Go see about a car. But that kind of scares okay, me because, like, what happens if you you cross him? What what kind of what kind of a person does he become? I imagine he's a lot uh, more scarier. To say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Oh, okay. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. <laughs> okay. Hey, Vinny. Hey, just the guy. You want to I give me something? This, and I thought of you. Oh, a gun. Thank you. You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Oh, okay. How do I do that? Good posture, real mean. Now, click, 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 bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay. Now okay. show me a reload. Um. I open the chamber and away you go. Okay. All right. Last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Okay, so go. that's how I'm gonna and take it. Okay, starts. got it. Get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. Yeah, I'll try that. Hey. Um. The Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Vinny. Oh, okay. All right, see you later, Vinny. Bye. Thanks for the gun. <laughs> Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. Ah, what's losing some motors to him? One year since the crash. The worst panic in Wall Street peacetime history was one year ago today, and still no escape from the wider econo economic depression that follows it. Unemployment reaches 8% this month, but given the prevailed trend of shuttering businesses, banks and foreclosed farmsteads, some economists warn that this could double, perhaps even triple in the coming years. Special feature featuring showing uh, scenes of every state. You know, it's kind of like eerie that like this is kind of like, I'm not saying it's exactly the same thing, but like the situation we're in right now, it's not good either, you know? This is October 29th. Two cents for this. Hmm. I actually like that they're using real pictures. That's pretty cool. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. Ooh. And... I like Ralphie. I actually really like uh, him. I feel like they're just mean to him because he has a uh, stutter. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. All right, thanks, Alfie. Okay, so I have to hold it down. Oh, please, Tommy. Okay, it's c c caught. You got it. Thanks, Alfie. Okay, guys. Have a good day, for fellas. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again. Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. All right, so we're gonna get a bunch of money from the people who owe us the loans that they've taken out. And I want to see how the boys react, but it seems like the Dawn has like everyone kind of like in line. You know what I mean? No one really tests him or anything like that. So I feel like they would listen to his orders. I just feel like something bad's gonna happen since we, uh, you know, destroyed those cars. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. But they said sure. not to hit just anyone. Follow my lead. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Hey, Sam, Polly. How are you? Hi. We're good. How's little Julia? Ha. So little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm being nosy. Let me read this. Imperial Bank. Mr. Botarelli, this letter is a notification that you are default of your obligation to make payments on your green loan. This amount has been overdue since July 15, 1930. It's October now. Hmm. You have ignored requests to pay this debt. Unless the full amount is received in two weeks, I will have no choice but to instruct this bank to begin foreclosing the, foreclos for bleh, the foreclosure process on your home and business. Please act accordingly. Okay, that's not good. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. 
Now you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? Ooh, they got no? sweets. No? Look at that. Nothing like that. Good. Donuts. You got the money. I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll Tommy, I'll get it. You stay here where we can see. Yeah, let me get it. It's been I real can slow get this it. This month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Ow. I know you'd never hold out on us. Hello, ma'am. How are you today? How can we protect you? Um, this is very awkward, but I'm just here to get, you know, your money. Where's the money? I have a feeling she's swearing at me, right? Oh, okay. Okay, bye, ma'am. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your mom. Huh? Is that his mother? Oh, God. <laughs> no wonder she was angry. Okay, next up, we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. Okay. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. Okay. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Ah, uh, okay. Into the counter back in what, 27, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. I know, I know it's the times, you know, it's like the, 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 the 30s, right? And there's, I, I have a feeling there's gonna, probably gonna be a lot of racial slurs in this. I'm, I may blur, bleep them out. And it's not because, like, th this game is bad or anything. They're just trying to be authentic of, like, what was happening in there. It's kind of like the show Mad Men. Like, I love that show, but there was a lot of racist shit that happens in that show. And very sexist things in there, too. But, um... I get what they're trying to do, but just, just, I just want to give a warning, you know? We keep some know? of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs they're in our city, not theirs. Okay. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded, too. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Do I have to come? Oh, okay, we're waiting? Okay. Sure. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. What's he gonna do? Beat up Eugene? Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Okay. Um. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. Oh, that's when his he's nephew. Going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this. Didn't over didn't the Don book, say don't attack anyone? What happened to that? Never mind, my comment about earlier them respecting the Dawn and not doing that was totally wrong. What's your problem? <laughs> so, uh... Okay, he's coming out. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Low-key Polly kind of scares me. Okay, we're going, right? Try before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Okay. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And eh, nothing he can't scrub out. Okay. Once he's back on his feet. Damn, what the hell did they do with that guy? You want to come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah. Seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do it. No, sir. Me I'm not Ollie, offending you. We've been working these streets for yes, years. Yes, of course. You I don't. Come be... <laughs> in, you think you know it all? No. I'm not saying that, Sam. I. You've been a day on the job, pal. Damn. All you right. haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. I mean, they're Damn, not lying, though. I think you ought to they probably know, kill a bunch of people. And Tommy doesn't know that. Here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him! <laughs> what the hell? You got him! <laughs> okay, these guys are cool. I thought they were gonna be like here. assholes about it. Nah, you <laughs> hey, Ralphie, I said. Tom sure can drive. No working after hours, cleaning up after me and <laughs> Sam. 
No chance of that. My bad! Oh my gosh. Ralphie's gonna be really pissed off. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Oh god, the front of the car looks horrible. Jesus. I hate it out of the city. Why? You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. Mm. Safest place for card games. The safest My place bad. for most of the things we do. We're it's true. Out, out of the city, away from people, today. please. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the <laughs> each time you crash, <laughs> you make little Ralphie cry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Keep talking. My bad. Yeah, this place is a real earner. <laughs> Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before I lost heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. Oh. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Uh, to keep it even so that, that they no don't get cares. attacked to you. I so guess that makes everyone's sense, making yeah. money, no one's gonna rock the boat. I see what- he is a smart man, though. Like, he's not trying to take it all for himself. As long Anyone as he gives it to every other, the the there's no walks. problem for him. You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep and shit, and most times it's dark and cold as it's hell. It's bright outside. What are you talking about? Out. Okay, there it is. Finally. Yeah, I can't stand Sam like yapping. Like, damn, dude, shut up. <laughs> Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Hopefully, this will end well. No smoking. I, you're at a gas station. Tommy! Lunatic! Ah, <gasps> oh no! What happened? I took what? Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Where's Sam? Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. I can wait. Get Sam out of there. You're gonna be okay? Okay, just hang on. Okay, you guys are so annoying, but like, I don't want you to die. You're my only friends. <laughs> oh no. Okay, obviously I can't go through the entrance. Let's see if I can like. Um. Shit. Oh, is he up there? Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna have to find a way in. Oh, here we go. Whoa, I just teleported. Goddamn half portion. This shit won't last forever. Should I wait for this guy to come in here or something? Hang on, hang on. Okay, I should probably pick up his body. Pick up his body! Tom! Pick it up, pick it up! Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna... Yeah, go to sleep. Yeah, he was so tired, he went on the floor. Okay, uh... Let's see what else we got in here. Just another bedroom. Anything I can use? Nope. Uh, oh! That's a shotgun. Oh my god, I got a shotgun. Bitch, I'm gonna shoot someone. <gasps> Kill him! Hey. <laughs> no, no, no. Can I restart that? <laughs> Sorry, I panicked. I didn't realize there was a guy on the toilet. I was like, wait, how do I switch out? I want to punch him. Okay, there's a guy on the toilet. Got it. Oh my god, that is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Let me heal up first. Should I go through the rest of the house? Because I want to make sure we get ammo and stuff. Right. 
Roberto G uh, Gilly Gilioti? Is that how you say that? I'm so sorry. For City Council 1930. Okay. A trusted figure in Lost Haven, owner of the boatyards and industry, employer of two employer to thousands, friend of the city, dutiful father and husband. Okay. Whatever says we don't want to walk. Not yet. Oh, beating on their guys gonna stop that? Oh, should I get out of here? I should get out of here. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Please go away, sir. You didn't see anything! Can I go into this room anyway? Is it locked? I may have to start shooting. I don't think this guy's gonna look away. Okay, okay. Got a headshot. Okay, I gotta start using my bullets wisely. <laughs> Let me reload, please! <laughs> Wait! I'm trying to reload. <laughs> There's too many things. I think I can't. I don't think I can shoot out. I think I really gotta sneak through the house. There's no way. I'm gonna try to take out all the men, like, all the men that are around the area, because I think that's the problem, too. I'm letting them, like, just roam free, and this is bad. Like, this guy, for example. Oh, that's a closet! So they do trick you into thinking you can come in there, but you can't. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go for it. Okay, okay. This only ends one way. Oh, there's a lot of you in here. Oh my god! Uh, Sir! Yeah, get him. Ooh. Holster, holster. So oh my god! Ooh. Okay, here we go. Uh, Shit! Uh, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. No. So much better than guns. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> okay. 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 Headshot. Headshot. I gotta be careful. Just because I remember that guy is in the toilet. He might come down here. I don't know. I don't think my health is healing anymore. I'm screwed. I shouldn't have taken that health. Got him. Okay. Got the guy who was pooping up here. Oh, there's one. You know what? Maybe I just need the actual, like. There we go. Okay, there we go, Tommy. How many people are in here? This is this guy? These two? They're on me! Damn it! Bastard! I see you. They're on me! <gasps> I got him! Oh my god! Did I do it? Oh my gosh, I did it! That was horrible. That was actually horrible. That was really bad. <laughs> that was really bad. Sam. They really went to work on you, buddy. Oh, Sam, you're, you you don't look that bad, honestly. You're okay. Uh, come on. Was he shot too? You'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Who the frick is this dude? Sir! Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard! <laughs> oh my god, seriously? Do I not catch a break? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! Yes, I will, I will. Don't worry about me. I think. I hope you guys will live, though. You're in my sights. Oh, shit. Uh. How long is it gonna take for me to like- Oh, I have infinite ammo. That's good, too. 
Should I switch the gun? Get out of my way! I can't switch the gun. I don't think I can switch it. Yep, yeah, no, I can't. Let me get a little bit closer. I'm just trying to- oh no. Ah! <clears throat> oh! Come on, Tommy! Damn, how many bullets can these cars take? Bye! <laughs> oh my god. Come on, come on. I can't floor it or anything like that. Oh, here we go. Where am I going? Ugh. Shit! Okay, I kind of lost traction there. That's my fault. <gasps> come on, come on. I can do it. Slowing down. God damn! I can't control this car. Am I stuck? There we go. Oh my god. That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. <laughs> oh, I have to- I, I have to- off there and then. Don't I have to like unlock it or but something? I couldn't go back to being a nobody. Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> I was so awful with that. I am so sorry about that. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabby to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just don't look. It didn't feel that way at the time. I don't think I can skip this. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money, and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. Oh, so now he has Salieri run of the city now? Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Who? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. Ooh! God damn it! Moron! The drama, your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Who's that? Jesus, Barry, Joseph Dunn. Tom oh, Rowe. that's I that's him. Was... You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well then uh, I'm sorry, I uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault. No, 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 no sir. I, I just I just, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. He's gonna kill him, isn't he? Oh, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. His grill's a little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin I can... Yeesh. So this is the guy, huh? The police aren't gonna do anything either because they're on the payroll, right? That's what they said. They just look the other way. Damn. Uh, someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there that says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. So he... Yeah. Don't, don't square. He beat his maybe head and he... Oh, Joey's God. career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? 
Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. Maybe that's you, not uh, the case, hmm. right? I don't know. Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Fair play, 1932, so two years later. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, oh yeah, God, yeah, yeah. please Paulie don't make me race. Right. <laughs> Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm -hmm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down mm, on this kid. So it's like a lot It'll of pressure like, to uh, make sure they Thursday don't lose. around here if he loses. Mm -hmm. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, None of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. Mm. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph does know how to Ralph cut brake lines. Car. Remember, he did say that. <laughs> you there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink Okay, here? I'm assuming he's really taking a liking to Tommy, you know? Sure thing. Can we talk to Sarah? She's cute. You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. <laughs> he likes to make sure I have something to drink when I win. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this first episode of Mafia right here. I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play. I am really enjoying it. I think, though, aside from my crappy gameplay and because like I'm not used to, you know, playing with a keyboard and mouse, I really think the gameplay, it kind of feels janky in a sense where it just feels like old school games from the 2000s and that's not really a bad thing or anything but i just feel like for this remake they didn't really tweak it that much it kind of feels like that a little bit like they they focus more on the visuals rather than the actual gameplay i mean it's still playable it's not bad but i just feel like they didn't really tweak it that much i don't know if that's just me but regardless of that i am enjoying this game i'm enjoying the story i just gotta work on not panicking and making sure that i have my gun ready <laughs> But we'll see what happens in the next part. I'm really looking forward to seeing where Tommy's story will take like snacks. And I hope you guys are enjoying it too. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode, remember to leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of Mafia. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!